always would look for the common threads in ball strikers. And once in a while you'd find universals, like this angle I'm showing you here. I would learn to move so I could mimic that angle. I'd study unusual swings and usual methods and standard methods and try and find out what's the same. What do they have in common that I could use? How can I explain why one method applies more force and has more speed than the next? Or why are they the same? I learned to look at the biomechanics a different way, to understand leverage, to understand how leverage works. In this instance, we're moving in 3D space, not 2D. Once I realized that linear motions can turn into rotation, it opened up a whole world and using leverage properly. It allowed me to be the most efficient I could be in my motion patterns. Study this force system, and you'll notice that the moment arm is most efficiently used when it's at 90 degrees. If you look at the moment arm, for instance, as a wrench and the joint as a screw, you can get the idea of what it takes to most efficiently use that joint you can understand that the 90 degree pattern works best, not only for speed, but for power and compression. You can then explain why someone is so much more powerful than the next person. In fact, it could even be measured. The science, math, and physics are all there. So why is that diagram so important? Well, if you're on 90 degrees, let's say you're standing straight, and you can pick anything as the joint. You know, for for our purposes, let's pick let's pick the hip this time. Okay. So if I'm set up to that, I can I can do the wrench straight this way 90 degrees, right? And get the most torque on that hip straight out this way be 90 degrees and if I'm turning it does this so I've got the most torque on the point that we're calling the joint in, in bioengineering it's joint um, but you can pick any spot it's not important what spot you imagine. The mechanics are the same. So this time I'm gonna pick a center of gravity right here, okay? Imagine it's the size of a ball, a large, you know, let's say a, a small softball. It's probably here, right, right above your belly button. So if I imagine the spot, I have to be at a 90. If I were standing still, that's my leverage out towards the camera this way and this way now see how it lines up with this center of gravity so it's an easy way of thinking about it for leverage right just out this way now if i had gravity we've got more of a diagonal it's faster so I'm using that to assist me. My knee going back and forth across my foot opens up the pelvis and I get that 25 degree angle automatically. So I go up, my knee's on the inside, I go over the foot, you know, on the outside of the foot, and then I do my leverage. But your torso's turning. So that 90 degrees stays the whole way and then you're releasing out here. That's why it's so important. That's where the power is. So say, well, where is all the power? Well, you can do the math. It's a, a basic tenant of, of uh, biomechanics. And it can work for any joints. Joints all work on that principle. The muscles and things like that. It's not a theory. It's 
It's really a model of how they explain how certain things work. You know, and you could say anatomy trains work like that. Um, you know, it ties in everything in terms of the physics of it, the math, and, and what we're doing. And it explains why we're so fast and why we can hit a long way with really little effort. simple. So if you're punching, if I have my elbow on 90 degrees and I were to punch straight out, you know, that's where my most power is going to be out this way. Since we're turning a bit, it's going to go off on that, you know, 45, 22 degree angle that I talk about. Really 22. Well, it feels like it goes that way. And that diagram is telling you that. The moment arm isn't an arm necessarily. You know, you could claim it was, you can name it anything, any joint. I could leverage from a spot in, in my imagination here. Here, right here. You know, top of the wrist. You know, but for me, what I showed and demonstrated was the SC joint. You know, Lee Como had once said that he was using that joint but really he's using here his center of gravity. But you can imagine anything, your scapula. You drive out from the scapula like this and you'll straighten out with leverage. You know, it's more right-sided, you know, but it's the same principles. So there's no problem with doing those sorts of things. And you just go this way, this way, as fast as you possibly can. So, it's got power, it's got leverage, and it's that simple.